All right, guys, I'm finally done with front brakes. Now I'm gonna jump into replacing the cabin filters on this car because I'm pretty sure nobody has ever changed them or looked into that because it's pretty, it's pretty difficult to get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. Here are the cabin filters. There's two of them. These are the bad boys I'll be replacing. It was a little bit of a pain to pull this all. Um, lots of plastics, so you have to take your time and be patient. And here are the filters right there. And they're pretty dirty, so we will be changing them. So it seems like somebody has been here before already because the clips on the blower motor housing are disconnected and this was already broken like that. Alright guys, I just uh, finished installing cabin filters and I'm about to, you know, turn the ignition on and turn the blower on just to make sure that we ha have no noises and everything is good. Alright guys, now we'll be changing the fuel filter on this car just as a maintenance item. Alright, so I just replaced the fuel filter, installed new uh, crush washers, uh, and tightened everything up. Um, about to start the car, make sure there's no leaks, and also remember that this hose, you want to make sure that it's not touching the fuel pump right there, so it's not going to rub through, it's really important.
All right, guys, the seal has come in. So I'm about to lubricate everything inside this antenna, all the gears, and then I'll put the cover back on. And we're gonna be getting ready to install the seal right there. It's gonna go right there. All right, guys, I just installed the antenna. It's past 1 a.m. right now. The antenna, the antenna seal and antenna are both reinstalled. Everything is nice and good, no issues. Everything is tightened up, the mast is tightened up. The antenna itself is all connected and tightened up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside, turn the ignition on, activate this so the mask can come out and then I'm gonna clean and lubricate the mast while I'm here. antenna mast has been lubricated nicely amazing he actually moves really smooth up and down right now no issues Guys, a really important thing that we need to make sure is we need to pour water uh, onto this area and make sure that it's not leaking inside of the car. That's really important. Amazing, nothing is leaking. And no leaks guys, everything is amazing. Uh, these traces of water that you can see, those are actually the old ones because the seal, the old seal was leaking. Right now everything is amazing, the leak uh, is gone. No more leaks from this area, great. All right, guys, right now I'll be doing fluid film treatment on this area. I'll be spraying everything with fluid film. Right now, while I'm here, Going to be replacing the sway bar bushings and links because they're bad making a noise also in the future this car will need lower control arm bushings and they're getting pretty bad um not too bad yet though uh, but it will need to be replaced and probably the lower ball joint at the same time other than that everything is amazing
Those Weber bushings are out on this side, and as you can see, they're all original and pretty bad. They were clunking and making squeaking noises, all kinds of things. All right, guys, I got the brand new Swaber bushings for the front and I'm about to replace them. There's four of them, a great brand, uh, no Chinese junk, and I'm ready to replace it. Sway bar is laying right there, waiting, and I will also be using silicone paste for that so I don't damage the rubber. I just flew it from this area everywhere. This will never rust out and I'm ready to install this uh, trunk piece back in place. All right, guys, the sway bar is all ready to go. Brand new bushings installed. Here and there, and I'm ready to install it back on the car.